this is uh, September 18th 2017 and we're going to do a new plaque stacks presentation today uh, with Arduino we're going to use an Arduino uh, Uno today and we're going to do a transfer using a 555 timer as a pulse generator here's the circuit right here it's all set up with our, our well actually it's an Arduino Uno ripoff from Sam Smart but this little thing works pretty darn good so I'm using that today and what we're going to be doing is my little 555 timer is going to be sending out a pulse and we are going to be transferring the data using a 10 UF capacitor it's going to be sending out a 140 Hertz signal because we're using uh, a 1 mega ohm uh, trimmer pot to control our uh, output over here so we're pretty much getting this type of a signal coming out and this is our plaque stacks program and today I have it set up where we're gonna be doing a dual trace so we're gonna be able to make a chart uh, and we're going to be seeing two two channels analog channel one and analog channel two so what we're going to be doing we're on port seven and we're our speed today is going to be our baud rate is going to be uh, 19 200 and we are going to connect and here comes our signal coming through on columns B and C and we can see down here that we are accepting data and we're gonna let it go a little bit because right now I have a little delay set up because it helps with the data transfer between the Arduino and Excel I have it set at 50 milliseconds that seems to really stabilize the uh, signal coming in and we're almost at row 1000 so we're going to pause logging and what I found just through experimentation is when you pause logging hit disconnect go ahead and close the uh, uh, transfer window don't touch nothing else and this is what we're going to do that much right there okay so we selected that and I'm going to go over here to insert and this is just the easiest way to do it okay we're going to select charts and I'm going to select the scatter with smooth lines because it just makes everything come out nice and pretty as you can see okay and we're just going to go ahead and select this chart right here here is our signal this is analog channel one and this is our analog channel two signal right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this for a second because I'm going to make another chart real quick because I'm holding this camera. But I'm going to show you <clears throat> what the dual trace channel looks like and I'll explain that here in a second. Alright, I'm back. And as you can see, this was the first chart right here. Alright, where I just uh, took a little data from... Uh, column 1 to uh, 24 this is the second right here this was channel A01 channel 2 and this was channel 1 now we look over here this is what the dual trace looks like it's channel 1 and channel 2 pretty cool huh 
So, this is how you would do a dual trace channel transfer using Plax DAX.